Hello and welcome to the Titan X Overclock. First we'll take a look at my system. We have the 4790K at uh, 4.5 gigahertz and we have the Titan X with the full cover EK water block and backplate. Oh and we have a 280 millimeter alpha cool rad in the front and a 240 millimeter on top. So that is the computer. These are, sorry about that, one second, there we go. These are my overclock settings. We're going plus 230 on the core clock and plus 500 on the memory. And we will be using Valley Benchmark Extreme HD. And let's see if it runs. This is a pretty heavy overclock. And we're off. I'm using my phone, so I'm going to try to hold this steady, but bear with me. Now, if you want to follow along and test your card, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this already know what I'm talking about, but for those who don't, you can download Valley Benchmark from, I think it's Unit Engine or something like that, and just download the program and run the program with the Extreme HD preset. That's what I'm using here. And it will give you a score at the end. And then if you want to overclock your aftermarket GPU, download a program like MSI Afterburner or Pre uh, Precision X. And you can tweak with your GPU core clock speeds and your memory speed. Now since my card is water cooled, it's uh, it's more stable at these high overclocks than an air cool card that would probably be in the 80s or high 70s right now. That's Celsius, so it's pretty hot. But if you look and see what my card is at right now, temperature wise, God, this is blurry. Sorry guys. We're at 42 degrees Celsius. So that is a great temperature. And that graphics megahertz speed on top isn't right. That's a glitch with the valley driver. We're at like 1450 megahertz on the core, not 1622 yet. I wish. When I add some millivolts, we're going to try to get there though. So we have a few more scenes and then this benchmark will be complete and we will have our score. My monitor is the ROG Swift. It is the best monitor I've ever owned. I highly recommend it for anyone who can afford it. Of course the most important thing is your processor and your graphics card but if you already have top of the line or close to top of the line components hardware you have to try out one of these high performance monitors either from Asus or BenQ has some good ones too with a high refresh rate this one's 1440p with G-Sync. Okay, it's coming to an end. We're about to get our score any moment. Wow, now that is the score right there. 4,403 with a single card on Extreme HD Valley Benchmark. That is awesome, and that's not even my highest overclock. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll post another video once I get to my highest possible and we'll see how high you can push this thing on water. Thanks. Bye.